Alexa, um, what questions do you have for me right now? Hi, Krish. I was curious and wanted to know what sparked your interest in voice assistants. One is, um, as a kid, I'd always be really fascinated with emerging tech. Um, always want to have and know what the latest gadgets are. Uh, that curiosity of what is the next big, big thing was always there. And really, why do we do what we do or why do we buy certain products? It's just so fascinating to uncover the enigma of how we make decisions. So I think uh, just the fact that it ties in both my most interesting fields, which is consumer behavior and uh, this aspect of technology is what really uh, gets me excited about it. And even more so... uh, there are two other things. Uh, I think one is definitely my my professors, uh, definitely Dr. Ko uh, and John Bredekin. I think they uh, really helped me with my dissertation and helped me frame my thoughts and also gave me that encouragement to understand the subject even more because of the dearth of, of research done in this space. The, the second thing is just the simple aspect of when I saw my own uh, grandparents actually started started to use uh, Alexa and I was just so surprised and so fascinated by it because uh, at year one end we're struggling to use technology but here this is a simple technology the most natural way of communicating and here it's reached already my grandparents so quickly even though if it's for the, the fact that it was for basic commands I thought this was really fascinating and this is really what uh, one of the things that really got me fascinated and curious and really sparked my interest. Thanks for that Krish. Could you tell me more about your dissertation at the King's Business School? All the, all the professors had something else or another perspective that helped shape me uh, frame that question or, or or just understand a different way of looking at, at voice marketing. So, uh, for example, uh, I went to Dr. Ko who helped me with the strategy bit and, and really what ways these solutions can be deployed. I went to, uh, I mean, my neuromarketing professor, one of the most exciting subjects. He, he told me the value and importance of, of really voice in this space and how it can really change things. Thank you, Dr. John and Dr. Ko, for getting him in this field. Could you tell me more about your role at Ogilvy? Secondly, I wanted to know a voice assistant still part of your life. I'm a junior planner. Um, I'm, I mean, it's, it's, it's a work in the strategy department and largely what I do is, uh, of the, the core is to find, uh, consumer insights for brands and, um, and these insights can come from anywhere. Uh, so largely what we do is first we look at, I mean, first we understand the consumer, uh, I mean, several insights from there. We understand the company and what they, I mean, the other brand from where they are right now and where they want to be. The second uh, is we understand the category uh, in which the brand is in and understand what kind of uh, communication is, is, I mean, and what kind of communication and what kind of products are there and what are their competition. And leading to competition, we understand really what are the, what is the common co- uh, competition communicating uh, in that category to have a better understanding. And then that, and, and, and lastly is the channel and how, and the channel to how how the brand uh, is selling their their product. Again, since consumer behavior is largely a part of it, it's 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 really exciting for me. And the second question, like, are voice assistants still part of my life? Oh, uh, yes, very much. So at Ogilvy, uh, we we're, we're, we're just get we just recently just launched like a few voice product voice solutions, and it's great that uh, I mean it's great that we're getting into the space a bit bit early. And uh, I get to actually, I, I, some, I ideate a uh, few voice solutions. I'm also uh, the, the voice point of contact. Uh, so uh, I think the fact that I get to still be part of the space, considering that I've done a dissertation, it's, it's, it, that, that is very uh, exciting. It's great to uh, explore the space from, from an agency point of view with the brightest of minds. It's amazing to just have and to meet so many like-minded people here and just, just jam with them on tech and, and how things are moving forward. So so we, we also, uh, I mean, recently uh, wrote paper and I think I was really, really lucky to, to be a part of it. And I, I mean, 
more than be a part of it but uh, actually be guided by really senior people at Ogilvy. So I thought the aspect that we got to work on live projects or uh, like live case studies and and on some we even got to present to clients was a great way of of experiencing a real world scenario. And lastly obviously doing a 15000 word research paper uh, I mean my dissertation uh, definitely going to uh, give you that exposure to uh, understanding uh, chunks of data, making sense of it, and then delivering it uh, appropriately. So, uh, and and considering that that has still been a part of my life and reaching out to uh, industry experts while conducting uh, research for my dissertation. Could you tell me a little bit about the recent paper that you wrote? It's called Alexa. What did you say? Well, Krish, it's got my name on the title of your paper. We found out that there's several voice solutions out there in the space. And maybe, a, I mean, it's possible that a marketer can get overwhelmed and not know really where to start. And what I mean is that you have, a, I mean, you have voice search as one whole space. You have voice Google interactive banners as one space. You have Alexa skills, you have Google Actions. You have uh, voice assistance in e-commerce or websites. Or uh, you have IVR call adverts. So, so I mean, and this is just the start of it. So there are tons of voice solutions out there, and it can manifest into several ways. It can it can augment. I mean, it's so seamless that it can augment many things. So that's why one can get a bit uh, flabbergasted and overwhelmed by what to do, what they can do within this space. 